at Sun Chemical in Midsummer Norton. And in this next chapter, we're going to be taking a closer look inside the lab space at this dedicated digital printing facility. We're going to be talking to Sun Chemical scientists about the crucial steps that go into ink formulation and testing. Let's take a look. A key aspect of inkjet ink development is how we disperse the colorant in the product. And this is really important because this is what the customer is going to see on the substrate. To do this, uh, we use carefully selected pigments and dispersing agents. And in the main carrier fluid, we mill the pigment using a milling process with ceramic beads. These beads are loaded into a chamber along with the pigment, uh, the dispersant and the carrier fluid, and potentially some other additives to aid the process. And then the product is milled down to grind the pigment down to roughly a sub one micron particle size. This achieves a pigment dispersion um, which is then used in the ink development process. It's really important for the pigment to be dispersed well um, in the product so that over time we don't see any settlement issues and the customer can use the product successfully without issue over the shelf life of the product. Our approach to inkjet ink formulation is, is really shaped by our openness to formulating um, bespoke inks for all of the different requirements that our customers ask of us. Um, and, and we successfully deliver that approach through years of expertise in ink formulation, access to hundreds of different raw materials and intermediates, and in this very large laboratory facility, a, a wide range of, of testing and characterization equipment. The formulation story of inkjet inks here really starts with building a, a, a list of technical objectives which we discuss with our customers and agree with them in advance of starting any project. And that list really breaks down into three areas. We start with the basic physical properties of the ink, including viscosity, surface tension, particle size, conductivity, uh, and all these other different aspects depending on the technology we want to develop. Um, we, then, we then move on to uh, how the ink performs uh, inside the customer's printer, how it jets from the print head, how it interacts with the substrate to deliver the right print quality, and also how it dries in the customer's drying or curing process. And finally, we need to make sure we understand how the ink will perform once it's formed that dry image on the customer's substrate. So there we're thinking about aspects like uh, color gamut, adhesion, rub resistance, fastness to light, weathering, flexibility, all these different performance parameters. So to understand all of those, we have access here to a wide suite of uh, testing equipment, including, for example, viscosity measurement, one of the key fundamental parameters of an inkjet ink to ensure that it jets correctly from the latest inkjet print heads. And we don't just have to test for that in a very precise way, we also have to monitor that viscosity over the entire lifetime of the ink. So we spend a significant part of our time looking at the shelf life of the inks that we develop. If we think then about the um, particle size, for example, of our inks, we have very sophisticated techniques to measure the size, like this one here. And, and, and when we talk about particle size, we're talking about particles as small as one or 200 nanometers. So we really have to be very, very careful in the measurements we make. And again, this is a characteristic we will look at for the whole shelf life of the ink to ensure complete reliability in our customer's machine. We have a whole suite of techniques to look at surface tension of the ink. Uh, and this plays a particularly key role in the way the ink spreads and wets on the customer's substrate. And we're able to measure the evolving contact angle of the ink. And this has a very close correlation with print quality. So these are just some of the techniques that we have available here to ensure that our ink performance is exactly what our customers need. So once a new formulation has been made, we bring it down to this part of the lab to verify its jetting capability. So we'll look at the drops in flight and from the, uh, the drop watching camera. So customers may want to look at a specific drop uh, volume or a, a lay down of ink. So we can optimize the ink to have a, uh, that drop volume and we'll also be looking for defects that might be produced by the waveform, like satellites um, and uh, reliability issues with drop formation. And that can all be verified here on, on the drop watching camera. We work closely with print head manufacturers so we can provide a package to our customers of uh, using their print heads, our ink, and perhaps an optimized waveform if they ask us. We'll load the ink onto this rig and we'll look at the drop formation. Uh, we can load a standard waveform at first to, to verify the ink. Um, and then we can also optimize a waveform here for, for a specific customer. We can look at drop formation at a specific distance from the faceplate. On this screen, you can see my 
software that controls the print electronics. Um, here is my a visualization of the waveform, and you can see it has three pulses, one, two, three. So this will be a 3 DPD waveform grayscale. On this screen, you can see the drops in flight. So these are the, the gray level three drops falling. We can also measure these drops at a specific distance from the faceplate. So our faceplate is up here, and we're looking at drops about one millimeter away from the faceplate, which might be a print gap a customer might look at. Uh, we can also measure these drops for their characteristics. So here we're looking at um, drop volume, drop trajectory, and drop velocity. And you can also notice here that there's some satellites on these drops. Um, they seem to coalesce by the time we get to one millimeter away from the faceplate. So we can verify whether these satellites will be an issue on our actual print platen on a, on a real print later on. The way Sun Chemical advances the successful integration of inkjet inks into a complex industrial processes is through uh, collaboration with our partners um, involving uh, OEMs, uh, printed manufacturers, equipment vendors, as well as end users. This is absolutely essential to understand the application requirement uh, where the ink is the focal point in the digital print solution. Of course, adding to that, other components like the primers, the top coats, the optimum waveform, and the type of media that we print on, whether it is porous, non-porous, or semi-porous. We deal with complex and different sectors of packaging, uh, flooring, um, uh, textiles, and uh, graphics, and many others, where it is crucial to uh, simulate the print process in a lab environment uh, in order to study those components and how they interact with each other and link that to the very fundamental choice of our pigment dispersion, solvent, the degree of functionality that we have to build in our uh, inks uh, and then how the ink and the primer interact to yield the desired print quality and the end user's performance. We take the output of that and we verify that further in, in uh, the customer's environment in a production uh, uh, type machine where we can optimize further either the inks or the primer and establish the wider operating window of the solution. In Sun Chemical, we take those considerations right from the start and bringing invaluable expertise from different divisions of the company from both the analog and the digital world where we can understand those components and add values to ensure that we have a cost-effective, reliable, and working solution for our customers.